Okay, so continuing to field more questions here for you, Asamili. Nick Henry from within the Telegram group asks about what is the most effective way to take notes from UWorld? Okay, so in this short clip, I will briefly discuss what is the most effective way to annotate from QBank into my high yield PDFs slash first aid. Okay, are there any tips as far as the best way to annotate? So before we get started, allow me to be an asshole like I normally am. Tell you to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Help grow this channel. Share with one of your friends prepping for your SMLE. Help bring awareness to this channel. Hit the like button. Hit the bell if you want notifications. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical. M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Link is down below. And find me on Telegram. Recently created a Telegram group and channel. The links are down below. Now let me address the fucking question from Nick Henry, which was about what is the most effective way to take notes from QBank. Look, I've talked about in some prior clips that when you annotate into your notes, whether those are my high yield PDFs or first aid, uh, there are probably two main points I want to make. The first is never take the binding off of first aid slash never add any extra pages into my notes or first aid. Okay. And this segues into the second point, which is because you need to be as conservative as possible with your annotations. Okay. So you want to write pithy, terse, concise annotations. Okay. You do not want to write long rambling paragraphs as your annotations because a lot of what you think is really important right now that you want to write number one actually isn't fucking important at all and number two eg however many months from now you're gonna look back and be like like what the hell that was basic as fuck like why did i like i needed to annotate that okay so it's always laughable when you move forward in time and your knowledge base improves I, like you look back at some of the stuff you had written and you're like, I can't even believe I like I thought that was important, number one, and I can't believe I thought that was hard that I needed to annotate it. One thing I one additional piece of value I can provide is it can be helpful to annotate in different color ink depending on the source, so you know where those annotations came from. For example, in my first aid a decade ago when I was studying for step one. I had all annotations from UWorld in green pen, annotations from Kaplan at the time in orange, which by the way, do not fucking use Kaplan. It's an, it's an obsolete resource. And I actually made a clip on that, but I'm just making a point here. Uh, and I had other annotations just in standard blue, black ink, but I knew where those annotations came from at a glance, just by what color uh, they were. So that can also be helpful. So look, be the short recapitulation is, do not add any extra pages into your uh, first aid. Do not take the binding off. Uh, do not add extra pages into my high yield PDFs for my site. And be conservative with your annotations, okay? Because a lot of what you write down that you think is important actually isn't. And as your knowledge base improves just by doing more questions, you're going to look back at your prior annotations and be like, I was wasting fucking time. I didn't need to write any of that down, okay? You know the deal. I'm going to continue making more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.